Hello and welcome back to Your Kingdom Kids, a channel where we tell the Bible using fun object lessons and experiments that you can do at home. And today we're going to be talking about Luke chapter 20 and 21 and how Jesus is like the cornerstone of our faith and also how a poor widow gave more than the wealthiest people in the world. How is that possible? Well, we're going to do an experiment at the end to show how sometimes less can become more. So stay tuned. Okay, go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn to Luke chapter 20. And once you're there, you're going to find Jesus talking to the religious leaders and the priests of the day. And they are so confused by Jesus. He is not at all what they expected. They expected this, this king who was going to rule and reign. And then instead they get this really humble man who's healing people, who's messing with the way that they do things. And it is just irritating. So they try to catch Jesus and trick him with some of their questions. And they ask Jesus, where do you get your authority from? And he responds in a way where they can't trip them up. And they're kind of annoyed. And so in response to that, Jesus tells them this parable. A man planted a vineyard, rented it to some farmers, and went away for a long time. But at harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants so they would give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenants beat him and sent him away empty-handed. He sent another servant, but that one was also beaten and treated shamefully and sent away empty-handed. He sent still a third, and they wounded him and threw him out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I know I will send my son whom I love. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they talked the matter over. This is that his heir, they said. Let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? Will he come and kill those tenants and give the vineyard to others? When the people heard this, they said, God forbid. And Jesus looked directly at them and asked, Then what is the meaning of what is written? The stone the builders rejected will become the cornerstone. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken into pieces. Anyone on whom it falls will be crushed. And the teachers of the law and the chief priests looked for a way to arrest him immediately because they knew he had spoken the parable against them. So what does this story actually mean? Well, Jesus is making one last appeal to the religious leaders and is saying, hey, I don't know if you know your history, but God has sent prophet after prophet, those are people who speak on behalf of God, and the Jewish people, if you know your history right, they've mistreated them, they haven't listened, they haven't turned away from their sinful ways. And so God sent his son, uh, Jesus, and if you don't listen, things are not going to turn out well for you. And so Jesus plainly says, I am the cornerstone. And if you guys don't know what a cornerstone is, is it is a part of a building where all of the weight of the building is kind of centered on. And if you remove it, what happens? The whole thing comes tumbling down. And that is what Jesus is to our faith. He is our cornerstone. Without him, everything comes tumbling down. And Jesus was trying to tell the religious leaders, Hey, you're rejecting me, but there is no faith without me. I am it. I am, I am. The religious leaders, unfortunately, just didn't get it. And that sets the stage for our next video on betrayal, because they were trying to get rid of him permanently. Okay, now that we understand that Jesus is the cornerstone of our faith, now we're going to go on and talk about how sometimes less is now more. So go ahead and flip to Luke chapter 21. And once you're there, and we're going to find a widow who is very poor. Now, a widow is someone who doesn't have a husband. Their husband passed away. And usually, often, that leaves them in a very tough place, both emotionally and also money-wise, right? Because oftentimes that could be their provider. So Jesus is at the temple and he's watching these wealthy people come in and give extravagant gifts of wealth in the temple for everyone to see. And people are looking at these gifts and going, wow, that is a lot of money. Oh my goodness, they must really love God. And here enters this poor widow 
who gives just two copper coins. Now, these aren't copper and they're not real. Ugh, they're plastic. But the point remains that her two copper coins were more in Jesus' eyes. And he says in verse 3, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she out of her poverty and put in all she had to live on. And what's the point? Well, the point is this. See, these wealthy people, even though monetarily wise, money wise, they gave more, right? She might have given two pennies and they gave a thousand dollars. It looks like so much more, but she literally gave everything she had to live on. Whereas they gave enough to look good, but it wasn't hurting them at all. It wasn't a sacrifice. And Jesus is pointing out the heart of the issue to say, hey, when you're all in, when you give everything you have, that matters more than an extravagant gift. It is what is really in your heart and how you're giving all that you have to the Lord. So after this, Jesus goes on and he prophesies that the temple will be destroyed. Now to the Jewish people, this was not a good prophecy. It actually was unthinkable. They thought it was indestructible. And unfortunately, it does actually happen in history. We have it recorded that it happened some 70 years later, just as Jesus said. In Luke 21, 10 and 11, Jesus said, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilence in various places and fearful events and great signs from heaven. That's not very encouraging, right? But even in this, Jesus gave great hope. In verse 14, but make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves, for I will give you words and wisdoms that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. And then he offers more hope in verse 27. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawn. See, Jesus is also prophesying he's going to return someday. And there's several other verses in the Bible about that. And I, when I was your age, I had no idea that that was going to happen. It was like this great secret. But it's so exciting. One day Jesus is going to return and we should be excited about that. Okay, so now we're going to do an object lesson to see how sometimes less can become so much more in God's eyes. First, what you're going to need is some cotton balls and some sodium polycrylate. Now this is actually the same substance that is used in diapers, believe it or not. That's why they're so absorbent. And if I were just to look at these items, first off, I would see that there are way more cotton balls and it's way bigger than the sodium polycrylate. Just like in our story, the wealthy man appeared that he gave more just because his gift was worth more money. But from God's perspective, it was very different. So now we're going to pour some water over our cotton balls and our sodium polycrylate, and we're gonna see how from God's perspective, less can become so much more because the widow gave what little she had. She gave everything she had, and it was so much more in God's eyes. Now, I doubt that you have some sodium polycrylate just lying around your house. So I'm going to drop a link in our description down below where you can find it online super cheap so you can do this one at home. And while you're checking that out, look in our description for links to other videos and click that subscribe button as well as the bell so that way you'll be notified every Friday morning when we drop a new video. Until then, make it a great day.